This is our second day on this project. This is a project that's near and dear to me as I unfortunately a previous contractor left them high and dry and in a really bad way. So that angers me to the utmost but I am so proud and pleased to be able to step in and take this project across the finish line. So just to start pointing out, we're already correcting some uh, foundational floor issues. We are working towards cleaning up this area of the floor. We have had to reframe this area. You can see all the electric was left in, in shambles. We're currently we'll be working on that tomorrow. As you can see, we had to do an investigative into the actual foundation work. But, and again, over here, make sure the salt pump's going. And I couldn't be more passionate about this as the customer has an amazing design for this project. However, the previous contractor wasn't up to the, to the job. We had to reframe the flooring for the shower pan that's going to go in. All custom work. Everything is left undone. Everything is just very heartbreaking. But again, I'm very excited as I know we're capable of bringing this back to the beauty that is intended. And then we're going to be building in a custom shower with a heated floor, um, curbless drain. None of that was pre was correctly done in, in preparation for it. After touring the project, I hope you get the idea that please know your contractor, do all the research. This is your dream and if you hire the wrong person, it becomes a nightmare. I'm so proud to have built a company that still can re restore this dream for for the customer. So we're here at a, a townhouse in Pasadena in which we were contracted to do a full roof replacement, which that's just the shingle system. In that contract, we take everything up to inspect the wood, the sheathing, make sure it's in good shape. Unfortunately, we found 3 8 plywood. And as you can see, all the wood has been replaced as 3 8 plywood is no longer code. It's an inferior and old product. So with that being said, you can kind of see what the three eighths has turned into. All the, it's just literally falling apart. So here we are again, another project. This is day two once again. And we're here because a contractor left them high and dry again and did insufficient work. As you can see, the project's already been dismantled. You can see poor flashing exposed wood you can see you got exposed rafter rafter tails going into the house this wood that's been damaged by exposure to to the elements over a period of time it takes simple house wrap to protect that never done and as you can see, we're in the final stages of finishing out their deck. Yeah, um, and then from here, we'll be able to really start progress in reframing the entire exterior of the house to be all one level, one substrate, and work towards the customer's dreams as they deserve. 